Hello and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel where today we are going to be doing a Canterbury and District Bus Simulator quiz video. This is something new that just popped out of my head and it's been inspired by many people who just like step the county railway quiz here so I decided to make my own dedicated to this game itself. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to ask you 10 questions and the questions will get harder as we go along. Each question will have four possible answers and let's see how far you can go. So without any further ado, let's play. Uh, let's start with question number one. Nice and easy one. Let's see if you can get this one right without getting it wrong. Here it is. How many routes are there in the game? Ten seconds to answer. Here are your four possible answers. That's time's up. The correct answer is B13. Well done to the people who got them right. Moving on now to question number two. What is the fastest bus in the game? And here are your four options. That's a time up. The correct answer is C, the Melestrata. It goes 100 miles per hour in the game. The Opto is the second fastest at 90, and the right straight light short goes 83. So that's two questions down. Moving on now to number three. What is the only bus in the game to feature the Among Us livery? Here are your options. I can now reveal that the correct answer there was the right cadet, and this is what it looks like. And yes, that is such a sus bus. Right, moving on now to question four. We're now onto the medium stage now, so the questions are getting harder, so be careful for that. And here's the next question. Which route branding on the McGill in 50200 Dart did it used to have before it was removed? Here's your options. There's your time up. The correct answer was C30. This is what it used to have before it was removed and unbranded. Right, let's move on now to question number 5 out of 10. Let's see if you can get this one right. What is the most expensive bus in the game? Here's your answers. Well done at home if you said B, Satana Levante, because that is the correct answer. At 4,000 points. The Scania Army City cost 3,000 points. The Wright Eclipse Fusion was 2,600. And the German A2 is 2,500. And it looks like we are halfway through the quiz right now. Let's move on to question six. And here is your next question. What is the only route in the game that does not serve the main bus station? Here's your possibilities. I can now reveal that the correct answer there was C, R67. It goes on Maybrook Retail Park to Appleton Exit without going via the bus station. Right, the questions are getting harder now, so as we are moving on now to question number seven. Here it is, don't let this fool you. What road in the game has a Bindley Mega Chippy near it? Here comes your four possible answers and ten seconds on the clock. Time's up. I can tell you now that the correct answer, that the Binley Mega Chippy, is nearby the Lansdowne Road. Well done if you said that at home. Right, three more questions to go. Let's see what we can get for number eight. How many bus stands are there at the bus station? Here's your answers. That's time up, and I can tell that the correct answer there was B17. It is a list of the bays at the bus station. Right, two more questions to go. Have you got all of them right so far? Let's see if you can get this one right with number nine. Before it came in Aldo, what supermarket did East Canterbury used to have? Here's your four answers. Time's up. East Canterbury used to have a Sainsbury's before it was reverted into an elder. Time now for the impossible question. I'd be surprised if you get this right. 
Question 10 out of 10 is this. Where is Louis hiding in this picture? Good luck with this. Here's your possible answers. Did you not have enough thinking time? Well, that's too bad. Now it's time to reveal the correct answer. I can now reveal that. Where was I hiding? I was hiding outside of the indirect score in Maybrook. Congratulations if you said that at home. And there you have it. How well did you do on the quiz? You tell me down below in the comment section and tell me how much you've got right out of 10. I'll be surprised if you got the impossible one as well. So that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for taking part in the quiz and we'll see you next time for more videos like this if you really are begging me to do more of this. Goodbye.